Welcome to Tech Brothers with Amir. Let's uh, take a look into scenario. So what we have here for today, let's consider that we are running uh, multiple store procedures by using execute SQL task in SSIS package. We want to know which store procedure is currently running or executing also we want to capture the time taken by each of the store procedure that we ran in or executed in execute sql task in ssis package on this solution side what we are going to learn here we are going to learn how to create ssis package from scratch second we are going to learn how to create a store procedure in tsql Third, how to log information in order table before and after execution of a store procedure. And fourth one, how to call multiple store procedures in execute SQL task in SSIS package. So first of all, let's go to the SSMS and take a look. Here I'm creating a log table. So I'm saying create table DBO log SP execution and I have identity that's the one comma one so it's starting with one and incrementing with the one i have a sp name that means store procedure name and watch our hundred is the data type next uh, i have a start time or start date time and i am using the date uh, time uh, uh, data type for this one and then I have end time and I'm using a date time data type for this column as well now in the next part I'm creating two store procedures with a very simple uh, statement so, so I'm saying create procedure that's how you create a procedure you provide the name of a procedure and then you say as begin and then here you provide update delete inserts or any other statements uh, you would like to use I'm only using wait for delay 10 seconds so this statement is going to wait for 10 seconds and then finish and that's how our store procedure will be completed in the next one I'm waiting for 15 seconds and that's all I'm doing why I'm just using one statement because I'm I want to be keeping this one simple and show you how much time is taken and if I will build update the leads and results it will be a whole lot to explain those statements what they are doing and why I'm using it so that's why I keep it simple and each store procedure I know it is going to take 10 seconds and this one is going to take 15 seconds to complete so I can show you the stats uh, in the demo now this uh, all the objects I have already created we can drop it and create it if you want so I'm gonna put these scripts in the blog post uh, so you can uh, copy and paste uh, for your demo or test next uh, once uh, we what we will do we will execute this store procedure and uh, let me do it uh, real quick uh, let's go and create a SSIS package now in the SSDT SQL Server Data Tools, that's I'm using uh, as I'm using SSIS 2014, and uh, you might be using uh, SSIS 2005 or 2008, and you will be using the bids. So you will click uh, here on SSIS packages uh, and uh, new SSIS package. It will create a new SSIS package. The name we are going to give to this one is called package uh, SP execution log you can name anything what you like we can use uh, execute sql task uh, and we can call uh, those store procedures here and can execute them let's uh, open this execute sql task first of all we will be selecting a uh, connection type here we have multiple choices i'm using olay db and i am going to make a connection to my test database it's already there I'm going to delete it, create a new one to show you what it need. It need a server name or SQL server instance name that you have to provide. Next, you have to provide the database name. In our case, it is test. You can click here in the drop down or you can write by yourself and test the connection. Hit OK. Hit OK. In the SQL statement, we have uh, different options here we have sql source type we have we can write direct input uh, or we can use uh, file connection if it is coming from some uh, sql file and uh, then uh, we have a variable if we are same in our query in a variable and uh, we want to use that variable in our case uh, we will be calling it directly and we will say execute and then we will provide the name of a store procedure so i'm going to copy 
and paste it here next uh, I can call uh, if I want to use the go statement here to make a different batch I can do it and I can call this one execute two or I can I can leave the go just uh, I can use uh, as it is without the go as well so it doesn't matter here hit OK now we are fine if uh, I will run this uh, execute SQL task in this SSIS package it is going to take minimum 25 seconds to run these two, two store procedures but we would not know which store procedure is currently running and there is no way we will know how much time each store procedure took so right now we can see that they are executing and they keep executing because each of them has this one has 10 seconds delay and this one has a 15 second delay we are not putting any information now what I want to do I want to use or make use of this table and here I have built my query so I want to show you how we can do it first of all we will declare a variable and then I call it an identity or ID excuse me next part what I'm doing before I run the store procedure I'm inserting a record called insert into DBA log SP execution I'm inserting a store procedure name and then I'm inserting a start time or start date time and values are the store procedure name and the get data once I insert this record what happened I want to get that identity a value by using scope identity this is going to return me the last identity for the current uh, batch so I will get that value and save that value in the add rate ID variable so once I save it is fine now we have that and we run the store procedure next and once that is completed we will go back and update the last um, or end date time column value by using that ID so that's how we will be using uh, this uh, statement uh, to insert the value before the pack uh, the store procedure started then uh, we will save that identity value and then execute the store procedure we go back and update the same value and same row actually and uh, we will update the end time with the get date so that's how we will be updating that value and we will use the at the rate id um, variable that is same in our scope identity or the latest identity for this uh, batch so we will be using this one so i will copy this thing now we go to ssis package the package is completed successfully but we do we didn't get uh, any log information uh, how much time each store procedure took uh, and uh, which was running uh, at the current moment or not so i'm going to use uh, we will put control v here so this will work just fine and the same thing we can copy and uh, we can build this statement we can use go statement here and make it separate batch and uh, we can use the sp2 so we will be running for sp2 let me copy this okay okay we can come back here we can open a new query paste it here just to take a look uh, if we have done everything correctly so this one is going to uh, finish for the first one and this is going to be starting for the second and finishing up with the second one so that's fine everything looks good as of now let's go and we we can use the same variable we have used the go so this the scope will be done here this batch will be done then this is a new batch is going to start here and the, this variable will be declared again that's absolutely fine let's run this package now it is executing at the moment now we go back and take a look uh, into this uh, table so if we select the information from this table what we see here so it is executing sp dbo uh, usp sp1 start time is uh, it started at 9 12 and 5 second so it's morning 9 o'clock and 12 minutes and 5 seconds and then uh, 
it is running so there is no end date at the moment so it we can ev even put the status here say currently running but we can also tell from the end time if there is no end time it means it is currently running and next uh, we can see that they both got completed so it started at 05 waited for 10 seconds and completed at 15 seconds and the next started and then it started at uh, 15 second and then completed at 30 second so that's how we can see which one is running and uh, which one is completed let's go back real quick uh, run more, more uh, one more time so start come back to the table so let's keep uh, executing so right now you can see that okay our first store procedure started and the end date is null so it means it's working now that's completed the last one is executing and we can see that it is executing and it uh, it has taken some time it is going to take 15 seconds to complete so we can see that once it will be completed it will put an entry here you can uh, as i said that you can put another column in the word say status and uh, currently running or not but i i can tell from the end date okay which one is running or not so that's how i can log the information for multiple store procedures that i need to use in the execute sql task so it is more custom logging you will be putting the information by yourself what you need in your uh, table instead of uh, looking into the um, SSIS logs uh, and you might not get this all detail level uh, information so it's a good idea you can create some custom log tables and put the information what is required so thanks very much for watching this video and uh, the you can check uh, the description of the video and click on the link uh, for the blog and uh, you will find these scripts uh, there thanks and I will see you in next video